So this is part two <laughs> of today's, uh, what's it? We're going to make the vice. Anyway, uh, meanwhile, whilst I was downloading the part one, which is the next one that you'll see, uh, I had a spot a lunch and I'd like to recommend a channel to you. Way Out West workshop stuff. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. He does my sort of building, my sort of, and he makes, he's making a railway. And I'd like to suggest it's a Reggie built railway, a Reggie type of railway. He even makes, look, a compressed, come on, there we are, oh, adverts. You can't get around adverts, can you? I'm sorry. Oh, that's a bit long, isn't it? Come on, let's go back here. Anyway, look, he even makes his own compressed air, makes his own railway. I'm sure James Time Flies in the Shop would be interested in this, but... If you get a chance, when you're uh, mooching around and having a look, um, have a look. Please go check out Way Out West workshop stuff. Fantastic. Make stuff. Make stuff out of what you got. You know. Anyway, give me, go, go, give me, go and give me a look and see what you think. So anyway, let's carry on. So I'm going to make this vice, aren't I? Oh dear. And I've been thinking about it a lot. And do we um, do we use this on top and put it on in there over the top? Mm -hmm. um, but the trouble is you're in there working in the dark and trying to foul it. So I don't think we've got a choice. I think it'll have to be the small section will have to slide down into the bigger section. Mm. So anyway. So I think that's the what we're gonna. That's the path we're gonna go down. Well, I was mooching about. We've got the jaws. These are blanking plates. Um, the thing is, in these vices, you don't realise how thick and how strong these jaws are. But anyway, they should be strong enough and thick enough. Um, we'll get them to close. So we'll put the top. We'll put the first one and we'll weld above it, and we'll put the bottom one in and we'll weld below that one. So these two faces, as long as we can get them to clamp together, we'll do what it's got to do. So basically, it's just a case of building something, a thread in there with there. Well, anyway, um, I want that to drive it. We're going to make this drive this at the top. When this just goes in there, this is going to drive in there. Well, anyway turn that around to show you the bench is a bit full yeah so then i thought oh look at this we can use this we can make use of this can't we because somebody's already kindly put a thread right in the middle but can we notice <laughs> look at this i'll show you something now can we see this look it's an opposite thread one this thing is an opposite thread. This box is an opposite thread. Do you remember we used it? We cut it up the other day. So the one we could have used with a good thread on, I've used as a bloody handle and burnt it. So, hmm, we can't use that. So we'll put that back in for another rainy day. But if you remember, do you know, as one door shuts, another one opens. This one came, and someone's been messing with this one. This is working just fine. The trouble with nuts and bolts generally, they ain't got enough bleeding thread on them. So we'll cut this off here. We'll um, weld that. We'll make this. We'll make this. And also, actually, it's going to be good for pushing, good for pulling. So. Remember, we found these mother of a washer, and I was going to put that there, sort of on the top, cap it off, as you might say. But anyway, I kept looking and searching, and look, I found these. This is going to fit just nice on there, and it's going to be already centralised. Yeah, so we're going to have a pushing power. It's not quite big enough. We've got to work that out a bit, so we're going to make that hole a bit bigger. So we'll have pulling together clamping power. And if I weld this with a gap 
on top of there cut that on top of there we'll have a pulling power originally i was thinking i wouldn't be able to drive it back out and you just have to knock it with an hammer and pull it out but now i think providing this is provided i can do everything straight and this doesn't foul um i think i've got a chance of pulling it out straight so well this on the end of the shaft there make that pull out of there so we'll get and this in between times this plate's going to be there so i will be able to separate it by thread as well it's just calculating the movements so i'm going to concentrate on the top first make the two top surfaces and then figure out how long or short how much the jaw opens how much we've got to play with the more thread we've got the more room for error we've got hmm, you use something with a short thread and you give yourself you know obviously that's plenty enough to open and shut a jaw for today uh, but if you miscalculate it and build it you end up with a short so the more thread you've got the more wiggle room the more room for error you've got if you miscalculate hmm so i think i'm pretty much i'm pretty much there and you see look i had a pot of them look so part of the fun is looking and thinking i've got so much different so much different stuff i did look at that i did look at that um for the hole for the washer and i wanted that hole I was just going to cut that off, but it's not. It'll do. And it's thick enough. The trouble is, washes all right, but they're thin. Yeah, they can't take a welding, a, a butchering from Reggie. So, mm, I thought, and that would be great if I don't weld it straight, because it'll give it a bit of wiggle room. So for now, and I was going to sort of weld that on there. But you trying to center it exactly is a different thing. Hmm. But you see, when you've got plenty of a supply, when you don't say no to nothing, you will always find something. You will always, like I say, you might think that's a nut. That's just a, a portable hole. Yeah, these are portable shafts. So you can turn your nuts and bolts into anything you want to turn them into. Um, but, you know, you've always got what you don't want for that day and plenty of what you don't want for that day. <laughs> it's, one of the things, it's one of those things. So you just have to keep around going mooching and thinking and like, let me just show you this. I don't think I'm going to use this now. So let's put this back to sleep where we got it from. Um, we got this out the stores, didn't we? And who knew? I was looking around and I just thought, oh, they're only washers. I've only got this amount of these washers. I haven't got an awful lot of them. But they happen to just fit in there. So how do you put them to one side without losing them? Well, of course, you put them in your jar, don't you? And you put one on top. And you put them with the rest of your jars. So when you're going looking and thinking, then you can see them. You can see them in a flash and you can, oh, what about that? Oh, will this do? You know, so that's the good thing about having like this. Um, you're not having to dig anything out or search for anything. Same as the lids, one on the lid. So you can see instantly whether it's a, a long sticky a long male thing or a small female thing you know <laughs> so anyway let's uh let's crack on i think the first thing i'm going to cut out is um cut mark mark that out and cut it cut this first now i've got the stuff in front of me i think it's gonna not be as hard as i think it was i thought it was going to be but there's going to be a lot of cutting and grinding and swearing going on. Hmm. So let's crack on, shall we? So, 
we've cut out our first jaw this is going to be the jaw basically we've cut out the holes so we're going to sit it back or are we going to sit in there cut a square out there hmm i think we'll cut a square out there we'll cut this plate in half so we'll use half of this plate and half of that plate find the halfway line cut it in half but um it's gonna chew <laughs> it's gonna chew plenty of um it's gonna chew plenty of uh blades but um yeah if we turn that into a square now i think um i think we might um we might have a chance let's uh let's cut it in half next and then put a square in there so here's my top jaw this is going to be the top jaw i want this to go through there so what i was going to do what i was thinking of let me put you there what i was thinking of was extending this up there so that was the hole put that through the hole put that in there well that to there I've got myself a closing force because this would close against there, shut it. And I've accidentally produced myself a pulling force because it's not going to come back up through the hole, is it? Okay, there's going to be a bit of space, but I'm going to need a bit of space to to do that there. Hmm, but, 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 would it not be easier just to drill a hole in there? But it's making it square. <laughs> it's making <laughs> But I could bang a hole in there, couldn't I, where I think it should be. Just a simple hole. So then this would then go through there. Yeah. Then I tuck that up out of the way. And then I would weld this in underneath. Um, so then now I've got a pushing force, a closing force. And I've got an opening force to separate them. Okay, there's going to be a bit of slack. Um, and if I make the hole slightly bigger, I'll allow myself a bit of wiggle room because remember this is, this then will be connected. We're going down through a shaft and the trouble, we learned that lesson before, going down through a shaft, if you're not spot on, um, you've got any wiggle room, it'll just rub itself against the side and jam, won't it? Hmm to do what to do well, actually what i'll do is i'll put a nut on the end of there and hold it all together like that and then weld the nut and then weld this on the nut yeah so that'll be well and truly secured mm, it'll just save cutting through this burning through blades so that'd be on there look i'm using this one slightly bigger but do it like that keep that out of the way Hmm, I'm going to attempt that, I think. Attempt that by just simply marking and drilling a hole through here. And then that simply will be the top closing jaw. Hmm, connected to this, um, connected to this shaft. So there we are. We've got it, haven't we? That's the top closing jaw. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. We're going to drill a hole. That's what we're going to do. So, in theory, this is the top jaw. This, this, if I weld this to the end of there, I drill a hole in there. Hold on. Let me put you there for a minute. If I, um, this is the top jaw, top closing jaw. Um, if I weld that to there, hopefully straight, <coughs> hopefully straight, I've got myself a squeezing power, closing power, plus an opening power. Um, put a nut, weld that in there, weld that together, put two washers, so if there's any uns, un, un, unsmooth, it's rather jam up. Um, if you've got two washers up behind here, one will rub against the next. So that should create a pulling force and pull it out. And then this, 
this should then sit on top of there like that and the other jaw will be underneath obviously with a hole in but because this shaft is so short I can prove it works maybe but hmm because this is so sloppy you won't pass each other will they sort of jam or twist or you sort of need the length of an uneven of that much slop the length itself straightens it should so should I rethink this and put a all together longer shaft on it but of course longer shaft more wobble <laughs> you can't win can you you can't win hmm so shall I do a short one just to prove I can do it or shall I do a long one hmm because if I'm going to insert a shaft on this or hmm, think about that again longer is more wobble isn't it hmm let's see what we've got let's see what we've got so I was going to um, use this nut obviously we don't know if the top of that is dead square or the bottom of this is dead square when you squeeze them in the vise they will fit in the jaws just so I was going to um, do this. I'm going to do that there. Do that onto there. Great. So we've got a connection there. And, we, and then we've got a connection there, haven't we? And use the two washers to lessen the friction between pulling and pushing. Hmm. But I still wasn't sure because... Um, it's okay welding the nut on there, but it's going to be real difficult to get between the washer and there to weld that into there to tie on. Uh, maybe you could drill a shaft or something through it. So I thought, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, in the old socket, well, let's get a socket and let's weld a socket on the end of there. So that's going to be quite nice, isn't it? It's going to create quite a nice surface. So let's forget the nut. Okay not quite right but I mean I can I can um, you can weld the, the point of this yeah I can grind this end of this fairly square and then sort of push it in straight and maybe use it that way and of course that'll be an, an evener if I can get in the hole there even if I run a grinder across here and smooth this off flat it'll still have weld in that little hole holding it won't it so I'm going to do that. I'm going to use this socket to basically centre and square the end of the thread. And then I'm going to squeeze that in there with the vise so that it's nice and straight. And then weld it in. That's the plan anyway. Because, because we know that that is pretty square and the front of this vice is pretty square and it was pretty close there wasn't much to take off I decided with the vice force this nut into there which seems to have down the track the trick so we know that's going to come out square and then we'll do the same with the end of this that's going to come out square and we'll do it that way hmm the way I'm going to secure the nut into there is I'm going to burn inside there make a weld inside there and then I can put the thread on it clamp it together and um, I think that's gonna that's gonna get us past that problem so I've put a lovely puddle of blood of weld in there so that should hold it together so I've created a pushing force closing force and I've created an opening force up here look so now it should open and close okay it's going to have a bit of slop in it but hmm it's not going to foul and catch is it so this will shut it down and then you'll have that much to pull out and then it'll start pulling it open as well then won't it hmm well 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 okay i think that should have been way longer but let's just open and close the jaws because we've still now got oh, an inch or two to play so you don't often op open these by an inch or two so let's just 
crack on and see what happens see see what what we need to do or need to improve see the shorter it is the better you'll see the problem the longer it is um, the the more the problem will hide itself so the next question is how long are we gonna make this so this is going to sit in there now isn't it that's going to be in there so we're obviously going to we're going to need we're going to need to see the end of that aren't we so we've got to cut it slightly short so at least we can see it because the other one hmm, we're going to have to figure out what to do with that because that's going inside this isn't it that's going inside this so there's nothing going to foul this we've just got to make this go up and down how the hell do we make this go up and down now right come on we'll think about that later let's cut it at a length where this just sticks out it's still a bit hot from the welding so have that much sticking out shall we say and let's cut it let's cut it about there yeah let's cut it about there so we've got a bit sticking out and then we can see what the hell is going on what is reaching and what is not reaching but i'm worried now because i've lost a whole load of thread up here haven't i and will we clamp it down tight enough Okay, worry about that later. Yeah. I've done something wrong here. I've done something wrong. That's there, fine. So if this is going to pull, if this is the inside shaft, how is this going to pull past or in? How is it going to pull past that? How is that going to be driven up here uh, how is that going to be driven up here because if you weld the nuts on the end hmm we've done something wrong here we've done something wrong here and I can't figure out what we've done wrong that's going to clamp into there yeah that's, that's going to sit into there. So how is... Oh, I better go and watch the video. There's something something not making sense here because if this is inside the shaft, how is this going to drive up the side? Uh... Hmm. Well, the nut on there. Because this, yeah, you can't hold a nut in the middle of nowhere because this is going to go past it. You'd almost have to have a slot all the way up this for it to drive past it. Maybe that's the idea then. Maybe we're going to drive a slot in here. Hmm. Something not making sense. Something's not making sense somewhere this okay this will clamp okay we can drive that into a hole if the nuts on here but then this is going to be in the way isn't it i'm going to have to look at that video all over again because something isn't making sense because you can't have a if this is going out the outside you can't have a nut sitting there in the middle of nowhere because this is going to go past it isn't it Hmm, this is going to slide up past it. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Something that clamps in a hole down there. Hmm. What the hell is going on? Something's telling me I'm going down the wrong path here. Hmm, right, I'm going to watch this old Tony's video all over again. 
and see what's what am I doing wrong.